Chaos on Philly streets. Philadelphia police say they are pouring over videos to identify drivers in what they say were nearly a dozen reckless illegal car meetups last night. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jennifer Lee. Several of the meetups turning destructive and dangerous. Police say several police cars were destroyed and in one location an innocent bystander was hurt. Fortunately, we're told that person is expected to be okay. And Kelly, police tell you they've made some arrests. Jennifer, they have. So at least two arrests, both from Delaware County, one a juvenile, according to police, and they also issued several citations for order. Ah! Shocking video given to Fox 29 captured one of 11 illegal car meetups, according to Philadelphia police, between about 9.30 Saturday night and 4.30 Sunday morning, with as many as 200 cars drifting and drag racing using fire and fireworks. Six of the incidents, police say, were particularly destructive, especially towards officers and their vehicles. Jumped on, while the officers in there, in the car, they're jumping on the windshield. They are physically doing damage. They don't care about your safety their own safety because if you've all seen the videos with the rain they really don't care you know it's just about how much chaos can we can we cause in an unusual sunday afternoon press conference police say due to having officers dedicated to this issue on the weekends they issued a number of citations for violating the city ordinance and made a few arrests it's it's playing whack-a-mole i mean that's the best way to describe it we hit them at one location they move to another very quickly obviously they don't uh, abide by any type of uh, traffic regulations. They don't care. Police say they felt the behavior was retaliatory, but still warned more arrests are coming. We have your picture. We're coming for you. If you think you got away last night, you didn't. Okay, so when you hear that banging on the door, it will be us. We're coming with search warrants and we're coming with uh, um, arrest warrants. Just around the corner from the aftermath outside City Hall, Sunday a gathering of motorcycles and other vehicles for a peace ride down Broad Street. I, I saw the street when I came around, horrible. But we have no tolerance for lawlessness. Riding alongside the family of 13-year-old Alasia Smith, fatally shot last week, Pastor Willie Singletary condemning the behavior overnight. With real bikers who love this sport, this is our passion, we're totally against it. If you want to do burnouts, go to Maple Grove, go to Cecil County, they got racetracks. If you want to do all that kind of stuff, go to the track. Don't do it on our city. This is where we live. This is where we stay. Police say they are working with the district attorney's office to identify these drivers, especially ones that drove off uh, to charge them with eluding and reckless endangerment. Jennifer. Reporting live from police headquarters tonight. Thanks, Kelly.